Green Thumb Librarian here. I'm talking about yams and sweet potatoes today and how you can start those from sweet potatoes or yams that you buy in the store. I, every year at Thanksgiving and Christmas, I buy yams like this and I always get an extra one. After the holiday, I just set it on the back of my counter, um, on top of my dishwasher actually. And because yams like heat, they start to sprout. And these actually have quite a few sprouts on them. They don't have to be in water. Now I could put these in water now and they probably would grow faster. I actually have some smaller, I think these might be sweet potatoes. Um, I grew these last year in my son's garden and they didn't get much attention. They didn't get enough water so they didn't get very big and the soil was just like clay. But I saved them. Let me get some big ones here. If you can see these in here. And I had those on the back of the dishwasher with the bigger yams and they started to grow. And once they started to grow I put them in this container with some water, I'm not covering them, just just enough to so that they could get a drink if they wanted to. And I've got this, I've got this one, I've got this one. You can see how tiny they are. But I was like, I said, I'm not going to eat these. I'm going to see if I can get them to grow next year. I have this one, and I have this one. I have one more down there. It's not doing very well yet, but I hope that it will. Now, these this side, they're ready to plant, but you don't plant the whole, you don't plant the whole um, yam or sweet potato. You break off the little bud on top. Like this, this becomes your yam plant. Now they don't like to grow below 56 degrees, so you wouldn't want to do this, you know, plant them outside at this time of the year. I've got a nice um, glassed in front porch and I also have a greenhouse, so I will put them under heat if I need to. There's another one. This is a nice one. Look at the roots on that. This is where the sweet potatoes or yams grow down here on the part that's underground, kind of like a potato. I'm just putting these in regular potting soil. Um, this is Miracle Grow plant starter. I might have to borrow a little bit from this one because this one has so many roots. I'll just let them get a good start before I plant them in the ground in the spring. I'll use this one for planting because I know I won't need all these. But anyway, break it off, make a hole, put it in. What I noticed last time I did this was once I took off the little plants that were growing, this one has one more. Once I took this off, it continued to grow more plants. So I'm going to leave that back in the water. Watch my video on how to grow orange plants from orange seeds. I talked about these containers. I got these at Amazon. They came 100 in a package, and this is the third year that I've used them. I use these starter trays, and I fill them about half full of water after I put the soil in the container. And when I get done. Um, planting these, I'll take my sprayer, get the dirt off the top. By the way, sweet potatoes don't seem to like to have their tops touched. So, I almost forgot that. I hope I didn't 
disturb them by touching them with my bare hands. But anyway, back to the containers. I had I had something I was demonstrating. Well, I took a more rigid container this side size because these are very flexible. When you try to fill them by by putting them in the bag and filling, they just they just collapse. So I put them in a rigid container, and I was able to scoop these up. I did all of these. There's 32 containers, 42 containers, uh, 42, and I did this in about 10 minutes. So um, I hope you enjoy growing your own sweet potatoes and yams. Later on, when these, when I get ready to put these in the garden, I'll just dig a hole in the ground and put them in. Um, make sure that the green leaves are above, and make sure that your soil is where work well worked. Otherwise, you'll have Curvy potatoes. This one looks like a mustache. That don't grow very, very well. Thank you for joining me, Green Thumb Librarian. Hope to see you next time.